At the end of the Umayyad dynasty, many weak Umayyad rulers appeared. These rulers were known for their extreme neglect of the administration of the state, and also they were known for the severity of their injustice to the subjects, as a result of which people's hatred of them increased, and many movements appeared in this period calling for the need for the fall of the Umayyad state, despite the strength of the last caliph Marwan bin Muhammad, but the large number of revolutions and wars that he faced were very many, and eventually led to his defeat from Abu Muslim al-Khurasani to announce the establishment of the Abbasid state. At the beginning of the emergence of the Abbasid state relied on the concealment of its true preachers, namely Abdullah al-Safa and Abu Jafar al-Mansur, and Abu Muslim al-Khurasani appeared, who took over the call to the Abbasid state. In the beginning Abu Muslim relied on his people in Khorasan and Persia and formed through them a large popular base and hated the Abbasid state, through which he was able to form a strong army that he fought the last caliph of the Umayyad state Marwan bin Muhammad, and was able to defeat him in the Levant until he was expelled to Egypt. He appealed for help Marwan bin Muhammad with the people of Egypt, but Fuji not to answer the Egyptian people to them and this was the result of the mistreatment of the Umayyad caliphs of the Egyptians, and also the conviction of the Egyptians of the Abbasid call, whose owners are due in lineage to al-Abbas, the uncle of the Prophet Muhammad, so many of the public are optimistic about this call and supported it, and no one cared to support the Umayyad state at the end, which led to the defeat of Marwan bin Muhammad and his death in Egypt at the hands of the soldiers of Abu Muslim al-Khorasani. After a Muslim succeeded in eliminating the last caliphs of the Umayyad state, he called for obedience to Abu Abdullah the Butcher, who assumed the caliphate as a result, and as a result he killed and targeted many Umayyads. After the Butcher assumed the leadership of the state, he avenged his killer Imam Hussein bin Ali in Karbala, which increased his status among the public of the people, despite the dictatorship of the Abbasid caliphs, but they were preferred to the Umayyads due to the love of the public for Bani Hashim in general, which is attributed to the Abbasids, as well as the emergence of the Abbasids in the appearance of the applicators of the law and their commitment to it in front of the people, unlike some Umayyads who exaggerated the tradition of the Persians in the manifestations of luxury and decay, so people were encouraged by the advent of this caliphate. After the departure of Abu Abdullah the butcher appeared disagreement and conflict between Abu Jafar al-Mansur and his uncle Abdullah bin Ali, who was refusing to succeed al-Mansur, and as a result of that he went to the Levant and called for himself the caliphate, did not wait Abu Jafar al-Mansur long, but asked Abu Muslim Khorasani to form a strong army and go to the Levant to eliminate Abdullah bin Ali has been. He met the army of Abu Muslim and the army of Abdullah and the defeat was the share of Abdullah bin Ali and fled as a result, Al-Mansur was able to find him, imprisoned him and died in prison. After Al-Mansur got rid of Abdullah bin Ali, a big problem appeared in front of him. This problem was Abu Muslim al-Khorasani, who felt his right to the caliphate after the death of Abu Abdullah the Butcher. This matter is due to the feeling of Abu Muslim thanks to him on the Abbasids, where he took risks and confronted the Umayyads and defeated them, and presented the caliphate on a plate of gold to the butcher, and also does not hide his role in eliminating Abdullah bin Ali, so he wanted to get the caliphate for himself, so he showed in many situations his disobedience to the caliph Abu Jafar al-Mansur, so Abu Jafar felt the danger of Abu Muslim al-Khorasani, so he took over Egypt and the Levant in order to keep him away from his supporters in Khorasan and Persia. Abu Muslim was not deceived by that, so he rejected this mandate. So Abu Jafar al-Mansur realized the bad faith of Abu Muslim, so he invited him in Kusra, and during the appearance of Abu Muslim in his hands, he reprimanded him and brought charges of conspiracy and treason to Abu Muslim. Abu Muslim could not respond so he subsequently eliminated Abu Muslim al-Khorasani, despite the role he played in the emergence of the Abbasid state.